Today on Hot News, class of 08, say hello to your new roommates. The coolest graffiti in the world is collected at our website of the day. We sit down with the band OAR. I'll show you some of the dumbest products on the market. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Now say hola to a new episode of hotnews.tv. Here are today's top stories. A desperate plea for help. The southeastern Asian country of Myanmar is seeking international aid after a devastating cyclone. Reports put the death toll at more than 10,000 people. Thousands more are missing. About 1,000 people were evacuated from a luxury cruise ship off the coast of Latvia. The ship became stranded after hitting a sandbar. The lawyer for the Austrian man who confessed to imprisoning his daughter for 24 years and fathering her seven children is reportedly preparing an insanity defense. Yahoo shares plummeted today after Microsoft said bye bye Microsoft withdrew its $47.5 billion takeover offer. Yeah, I can fly. And box office sales soared for the comic book movie Iron Man. The film starring Robert Downey Jr. made $100 million over its opening weekend. Sorry to be a Debbie Downer, but according to a recent Monster.com survey, nearly half of students preparing to graduate from college say they expect to spend some time living with mom and dad. Want to hear something even more depressing? 43% of 2007 grads are still living with their parents almost one year later. Hi, I'm Rod from Inc.com. At Inc.com we see all kinds of products, and usually we show you the best. But today we thought it would be fun to show you some of the worst. First up, Wolf Water. It's water for hounds and humans. Need I say more? And then, as if the nation doesn't have enough of a problem with obesity, in Tempe, Arizona, the Heart Attack Grill rolled out this bad boy. It's called the Quadruple Bypass Burger. It's a two-pound burger with 12 strips of bacon and four layers of cheese. And oh yeah, it's only a mere 8,000 calories. And perhaps the king of dumb, this gem from ATEC Flash Technology. It's an iPod stereo dock that doubles as a toilet paper holder. I know, just what you've always wanted. For our complete list of dumb products, go to Inc.com. The Coen brothers have won four Oscars and produced a shelf of classics like The Big Lebowski, Fargo, and No Country for Old Men. Now, one of the brothers, Ethan, is trying his hand at theater. Oh, it took us so long to part. <laughs> And now you sons of bitches used to walk. <laughs> We're giving away three pairs of tickets to see Almost an Evening in New York City. If you want them, click on comment and share right now and tell us your favorite Coen Brothers movie quote. The first three will win a pair of tickets. If you think graffiti is just something to paint over, you haven't seen WoosterCollective.com. It features some of the most creative, provocative, and flat-out cool street art in the world. As it turns out, some of the most talented artists aren't on the walls inside a museum, they're on the walls outside a museum. What does the holiday Cinco de Mayo actually celebrate? We'll have the answer in un momento. What's Cinco de Mayo all about? Well, many people think it's a celebration of Mexico's independence from the French, but it's actually in honor of a pivotal victory against the French in 1862 in the Battle of Puebla before the Mexicans gained their independence. You know them as cute reggae rockers OAR, but we know them as Mark and Benj. Yeah, we're that tight. We caught up with the boys to talk about their music, life, and their deepest, darkest secrets. The guys from OAR have been making music together since middle school. So over the years, what we didn't have to work on was staying together. 
you know, we, we just naturally are friends. We've grown up together. It was easy. The guys went from garage band to dominating the college scene. Now they're playing to packed houses at major venues. Selling out Madison Square Garden was just thrilling. I mean, both times it was a phenomenal kind of event to kind of be a part of. But getting to the garden was no easy feat, especially trying to juggle college with their career in music. But I can definitely remember nights that we would tour where we would leave the venue and specifically be studying on the way home. Like it would be a two hour drive, we'd fight for this one seat that had a light. I was studying sociology when I was in college and other <laughs> extracurricular activities, I, yeah, I can't really, uh, I can't really say they were very social. Um, that was social. about it. Yeah, I was doing a lot of social He's things. Still a I'm still major, a sociologist. Apparently. Yeah. Read into that what you will. These guys admit they did their share of partying. I can't get into detail. It's classified. Okay, so maybe the guys didn't spill their deepest, darkest secrets, but they did give up the goods on what their song "That Was a Crazy Game of Poker" is about. To hear about that, click on Watch More. Thanks for watching Hot News today, and there is plenty more where that came from, so make sure to come back each morning for a new episode. And if you're really looking to procrastinate, you can watch all our old episodes anytime. See you tomorrow.